Hello Taurus, this is your July 2018 reading. Hopefully it resonates. If it doesn't, maybe this reading's not for you, but hopefully it will reach most of you. At least the main energies. But this is a reading for Taurus, July 2018. Taurus, July 2018. Taurus. Got that old devil card there. July 2018. Taurus. I know a lot of Taurus people have been having a bit of a rough time. I know one that quit their jobs and moved and everything all in one week. So things going a little crazy. Try to tell you that they're going through a lot of changes, Taurus. There's your energy, Princess of Disc, upright. That's someone who, who is sound, stable, knows what they want, got a good head on their shoulders. As the current environment, as the subject in hand, you have the Seven of Cups. This is someone with a lot of options and not necessarily any of them that you think are good options. Be careful which ones you choose because you're not going to be happy with any of them. Let's see what's crossing those options. You got a lot of them there. Just, they're just not, ugh. Happiness, what's crossing it is you're wanting your happily ever after. And you should want that. Your goal. Your goal, Princess of Cups. I don't know what she's about. I'll clarify her. She is in reverse. That could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it could be your goal to avoid this person or to go towards this person and help them. And they don't have to be a water sign. It could be just taking on that energy. And they are basically a younger type person, a youthful type person. Yeah, that came out again. I'm going to keep it there, but I want another card for the foundation. Wow, that's popping out too. Success. Uh, we got the Queen of Discs in the upright. We got the Success card, and we also got the Five of Cups. The Queen of Discs, like I said, she's, she's sound. She's upright. She's got good character. She knows what she wants. Um, she usually is a good provider. Business-wise, they usually make good decisions, and they got success attached to them, but what is also attached to them is sorrow. They got their heart, you know, hurt. they're hurting in their heart, and they don't see the good around them. They just see the negativity, even though they are in the upright. Let's see what happened in the past. I got to use all them cards when they pop out like that. A lot of people, you know, say, the way it popped out, I have to. In the past, for Taurus, Knight of Cups, water energy again, younger one, they're in reverse, like I said, it could be a water sign, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, it doesn't have to be, someone just takes on that energy, right now they're just emotionally distraught and they're not thinking straight, or you may be feeling that they are not. In the near future, the next few days, next few weeks. Uh, you may have found out, you may find out that someone did something a little sneaky. Underhanded or did something that you did not know something about that you're not too happy about. And I'm going to place these that last four on the side here because I want to clarify these other cards. I want to find out why the Seven of Cups is there, why those options are there that you don't like, and that then the happily ever after may be, it may be interfering with your happily ever after situation you're wanting. Why is it, am I getting wires here? Ugh. What happens when I don't look at stuff? I don't know what that's doing there, but it needs to go. Sorry. Seven of uh, Cups, why are you there, and why is the Ten of Cups crossing it? That looks better. Yeah, you're coming out of feeling like you, uh, you were in a nightmare, and you're coming out of that, and you want your happily ever after. You just feel like you don't have the options in front of you. just plain out suck. Um, 
that's what you're feeling at, at this moment. In the past, the Knight of Cups. I want to find out what the Knight of Cups is there. Working hard. Working hard with that Knight of Cups. Working hard towards that Knight of Cups in the past. It looks like you worked pretty hard with them. And maybe a situation was kind of not, yeah. It's like they weren't accepting your cup. Even though you worked hard for them, maybe an offer, maybe you, you helped them out. Or maybe they helped you out. Why is your goal the Princess of Cups? Maybe you're still helping out that cup, Cups energy. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Let's find out. The Cups. Why are you there? Princess of Cups. Why are you there? That's the goal. You want justice, and you will get justice with this person. Maybe you're seeking justice for this person. Maybe you're trying to help them. Or maybe it's somebody that did you an injustice that, that is your goal towards this Princess of Cups. And we got a lot of clarification over here with this Queen of Disc and the success and the disappointment card or sorrow. I call it sorrow. Five of Cups, someone's always... If you look in the other uh, decks, you always see this someone that's looking real sad, looking down, looking at their spilt cups. But let me get another card for the Queen of Disc. I believe that is your energy. I really do. There it is, Five of Cups, so it's in reverse. So I'm thinking you're trying to get out of it. Get your success. And Five of Cups is plaguing you, though, right this minute. So you may want to get rid of those spilt cups and look at the two full cups in front of you. Now, in the near future, you got the Seven of Swords. Is it in reverse? Let's find out what that's about. It's in the near future. Seven of Swords, why are you there? Temperance off balance. Yeah, you're going to find out something. Maybe someone tried to get by with something and it left everybody off balance. You can leave it in the comments if it does occur, if it, if it does resonate with you. I need another card. Seven of Swords. Why are you reverse with the Temperance card reversed? The Taurus. You had hopes for a certain situation. You found out something sneaky. Or it could be someone found out something sneaky about you too, but... It could be reverse, is what I'm saying. Outcome, six of uh, wands is in reverse. Possible future outcome. It also could be the advice card. It's like it's saying hold off on something. It may not be, yeah. You may feel this in Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's feeling abandoned, coming out of abandonment, wanting victory. The advice is maybe telling you. Turn that victorious type situation. Make give get your victory. Stop looking at those cup situations. Stop looking at the negativity. You know, uh, maybe realize not everything is a negative option. You know, you're wanting your happily ever after. Maybe we can't just have it exactly what we want right away. But let's find out what's coming towards you. Is possibly someone um, that's a hermit that's keeping to themselves. They don't usually talk much. It also could be what they're thinking about you, that you keep to yourself just way too much. The Hermit card, why are you there? The Taurus, why are you there? Seven of Swords reversed again. This could be uh, someone attached with the Seven of Swords, a sneaky behavior, like I said. You got that twice. Your hopes and fears is the Knight of Disc in reverse. Maybe you're fearing that you won't be able to keep afloat because the Knight of Disc is in reverse. That could be your fear. You may be wanting to overcome a burden. I don't know what the burden is. But you're trying to keep afloat. And apparently you have that mentality because you got the queen of discs there. Could be another earth sign, but I'm thinking it's you. Yeah, I want to come out of feeling chain. That a devil card try to keep coming out. You know, before, I didn't let it come out, but the double card in reverse, trying to feel unchained, like I said. The outcome, see that? That's the Ace of Swords. It's in the upright. That's someone speaking their truth, getting their truth, and get and really um, getting success with it. It's like you're not turning back. The words may be a little sharp, but they're truthful. But let's find out. Ace of Swords, why are you the outcome for Taurus? And that's the distant outcome, okay? Near outcome, distant. You're going to have your say. You're going to say what you want. Say what you have to say to what you need, you know, to you need to. Ace of Swords, why are you, why are you there? 
You know, you're no longer to hold back. That's the two of swords in reverse. You're no longer going to keep that blindfold on. You're no longer going to put those swords up and, and hide away. You're going to say what you're going to say. And I don't... Uh, Taurus usually will. They're a fixed sign. Ace of Swords, one more time. I need one more card for the Ace of Swords because I want to know what's going on. I need something more for the outcome here. We all know that Taurus says what they want to say. I want something a little bit more. Communication, yep. Eight of Wands, really fast. You are not going to hold back. Oh, Comanche. Pat, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Someone may not like what you have to say. Come on, we need some more information. Is it about love, money? Come on. One more. Maybe you all can tell me in the comments. Could be a relationship, a contract. That's the hair font in the upright. We finally got an answer. Uh, it's going to be over family, relations, contract, status quo. You're going to have to, you're going to say what you're going to say. And communications are going to go back and forth. So I may not like what you have to say, but it's necessary. It may be towards the Knight of Swords, the overall energy, it is in reverse, that it could be um, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, a younger type person. So that is your reading, Taurus. Keep it, keep it real. I know you're going to say what you're going to say, and that's the way it's going to be. And I will get that back to you in mid-July. See you later. Bye.